So today I'm talking about a P0158 code, what it is and how you could go about fixing it. And so what is a P0158 code? Well, it's an O2 sensor circuit high voltage bank two sensor two. And so what does this mean? Well, basically there's what's called oxygen sensors and they're located down on the exhaust and they do two things. The first thing they do is they monitor how much oxygen was burnt off during combustion. And then the second thing they do is they monitor the catalytic converter. And when you get this P0158 code, the computer's seeing a problem with one of these sensors, mainly the Bank 2 Sensor 2 O2 sensor, but so it's going to be troubleshooted to know why. And when you have a V6 or V8 engine, the engine's going to have two banks. Bank 1 side of the engine is always the side of the engine with the number one cylinder. So if you Google your engine and cylinder location or like firing order or something like that, and you find the number one cylinder on your engine, since there is differences, then that side of the engine is going to be Bank 1 and the opposite would be Bank 2. And there's going to be two O2 sensors on each bank of the engine. Basically, there's going to be a sensor one, also called the upstream O2 sensor. It's going to be located before the catalytic converter. And then you're going to have sensor two, which is going to be located after the catalytic converter, sometimes right on it. And it's also called the downstream O2 sensor. And so what would be some possible causes of a P0158 code? Well, the first thing that could cause this is that that bank two sensor two has just gone bad and just needs to be replaced. There's some different ways to go about testing these sensors. If you have a multimeter, you can use it. You can go and test it. If you have a good OBD2 scan tool that has live data along with the graph function, then you can also use it to go and test these sensors. Basically, if you use a scan tool, the sensor one should be reading oxygen. So it'll be going inside of an up and down pattern, like going up in voltage and then down in voltage, up in voltage and down in voltage. But sensor two shouldn't be reading any oxygen or very little. And so it should be flat. And if it isn't, if the voltage is high or if it's low, then you know there's some kind of problem there. There's some good YouTube videos on this. I've made videos on this. I'll put a link down below if you need it. But the first thing that could cause this is a bad bank two sensor to O2 sensor. The next thing that could cause this is the wiring going to the sensor. Basically, keep in mind that if there's anything wrong with the wiring going to the sensor, like an open, a short, there's a bad connection inside there somewhere, something like that, then that's going to cause problems. So you can get schematics for your particular vehicle. That way you know for sure what's going on. You can go and check and be sure that everything's good, that there's no issues going on there. For example, if your vehicle has a four-wire oxygen sensor, which is fairly common, you're going to have two wires going to a heater element built into the sensor. And the heater element just helps that oxygen sensor heat up quickly because it can't get good readings until it gets hot. And so the heater element just helps it start working faster. These usually have 12 volts going to them. Again, be sure to get schematics for your vehicle to know for sure what's going on. But there's usually 12 volts going to this. Keep in mind that these could be on a fuse or a relay. Sometimes it can be kind of confusing on which fuse or relay it is. But these can be on a fuse. And you're also going to have two wires going back to the computer. And so like I said, you can't get a wiring diagram for your particular vehicle. You can go and check and be sure that the voltages are good, that there's no opens inside of the wiring or anything like this. Because the next thing that could cause this is some kind of wiring problem. And the next thing that might cause this is that if there's any kind of exhaust leak or hole inside the exhaust or something like that, basically if air is getting into the exhaust, then it could throw those sensors off. It could cause them to get bad readings and just do strange things. Although with the P0158 code, it's very likely going to be a bad sensor or inside of the wiring or something like that. Just keep in mind that there is an exhaust leak that can throw those sensors off. And the last thing on the list is going to be that the engine is running inside of a rich condition, which basically means more gas than air is going into the engine. And so if that happens, that O2 sensor is going to pick that up, and that's going to cause the voltage to be higher at that O2 sensor. But usually if that happens, you're going to get other codes. So for example, if you also got like a P2099 code, post catalyst fuel trim system two rich bank two, or if you were getting like misfire codes, like a P0302 or something like that, and that could point to some kind of issue with the engine and it's running inside of a rich condition. So if you are getting other codes, be sure to pay attention to that because the last thing on the list is going to be that the engine is running inside of a rich condition. And so that's basically it. I just wanted to give a basic overview of how you go about fixing a vehicle with the P0158 code. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me and I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you. Please click like, please click subscribe and have a good day.